Hey guys, Crew Blondway back, and I'm Shane. Rick. I'm Calvin. We're back here with Dexter, gentlemen. You remember what happened last time? Miguel yeah. is in. Miguel is in. He's in on the. I mean, Dexter didn't completely say, you know, like, I kill people, you know, but he said, like, no one understands me and you don't know what I am. Yeah. If Miguel was wearing a wire, what Dexter had said would not have gotten him convicted. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. But it's enough that they're both on the same wavelength. Yes. Yes. Which is why he was pushing so hard for Dexter to take that shirt. Yeah. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm comfortable with this. I trust you. I want you to trust me too. Yeah. yeah. Let me in. <laughs> we so have... I can help you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, Dexter was gone, killing that guy in the boat. Reed had a little scare with the pregnancy. Yep. Yep. She was bleeding from her hoo ha, which is never a good thing. Yeah. You're pregnant. No, no, it's not. Or ever. <laughs> Dexter wanted to be a superhero. Unless it's the time of the month. <laughs> and now he has his own commissioner, Gordon. It's true. Seemingly so, yeah. Also, Dexter and Reed at the you know at the end, Dexter said we can do what you want when you want. We can get married, you know, basically in a courthouse. So he he's leaving all in Rita's hands. Yep. He's trying to show her like, hey, I, I'm sorry, I'll do anything. And he's ready yeah. to move in, which is good. Yep. And he's yeah, he's more committed. And what about he's he's choosing Rita as his wife and murdering as his mistress. <laughs> Prioritize time based on that. What about uh, Masuka, though, my favorite character? Masuka, I feel bad for him. But I felt real good for him in that scene where he was telling, owning. He was owning the shit out of Ramon. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, that's he, not. That's not uh, speculation. Yeah. That's fact. <laughs> Everyone kind of stuck up for him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And so he, you know, I think he realized I do have friends. I just, yeah. you know, got it's a time and a place to do what I do. In fact, is uh, what did he say? Something with a 16-inch strap on or something like that. Something to do with yeah. crazy shit. Stra- yeah, yeah. I don't remember, and honestly, I, I want to forget. <laughs> and, we had, and then we we had some personal discussion between us about Quinn and the motivation mm-hmm. about why he does what he does. Mm-hmm. Is he right or wrong? So we'll find out more about that now. Gentlemen, he's got his first real friend. What do you think? I'm happy. They're both terrible people, but they're my people. <laughs> <laughs> they're the people I started rooting for first. <laughs> I get what you mean, yeah. So yeah, it's it's great. I mean, they can do a lot of well, God's work. Good together in a weird way. Uh, yeah, the the Nazi guy was meant to scare Miguel off. I mean, I think the important thing was he's off the streets. But yeah, if he's behind prison, still carrying out these acts of fucking horribleness, yeah, then he needs to he needs to be put down. Yeah, I mean, the show makes it all pretty black and white. Like, yeah, in real life, it's never quite like that or hardly <clears throat> no like I mean that. see like the ritual like if you say like if you're judging the heart of somebody like that sure just needs to kill he happens to have a code to make some kill bad people sure yeah you know I mean like the, the way the ritual's done makes it seem just so much worse you know what I mean the way he enjoys it mm-hmm. you know what I mean but if you just make it like well this person is bad he needs to go yeah you don't see how it's done then it's a lot easier or if it was just like a like a gunshot Back of the head, no suffering, no... Yeah, like a lethal injection or something, like... Yeah. A little worried about Miguel, just because of that investigation with uh, Chicky Hines. He might very well get disbarred from this. The defense attorney seems to believe or have evidence that he has done shady stuff before, which obviously mm-hmm. he does. Very yeah. shady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like at the end of the season, he's gonna, like, go to jail or something and keep Dexter's secret. Like, I don't think he's gonna continue with Dexter for the next season. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a one and done. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is this is such a powerful weapon and resource that Dexter has. I feel like it would kind of make the show a bit more boring if a little too he just easy. had all a little too power. easy for him. Yeah. It's like cheat codes. Well, I mean in that <clears throat> aspect, yes, but they could dig into like Rita's starting to suspect or it's really tough to hide <laughs> things from Miguel's wife and Dexter's wife. Yeah. yeah. Like, and Deb, maybe. You know, the, there's other ways they could go with it. But I, I don't think Miguel's going to last past this season, which is a damn shame. What's Miguel's brother's name? Ramon. Ramon. Or the other one. Ramon. Yeah. Poor Wendell Owens. <sighs> he got the worst of it, 15-year-old fucking kid. Skinned alive. Died from the skinning and... That'd be a terrible way to die. Got skinned the most. Yeah. God, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah, before they've been smothered or strangled... And this was no smothering or strangling. This was just skinning and dying from the shock. 
I feel like the show is pointing towards, well, Ramon, which we know it isn't, mm -hmm. Quinn's or Antoine. Anton. Anton. Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaning towards Quinn. I don't want it to be Quinn's. I like Quinn's. I like Anton too, but I, I also think I it's, really it's cannot Quinn's. remember. Like I know it happens the last episode, but I can't remember just, the just mystery. Quinn. Just, just Quinn? Just Quinn. Just Quinn. It's not Quinn's. Yeah. Quinn. Quinn. The Eskimo. Dr. Quinn, the medicine woman. That's a damn good show right there. I think it's I've called... I've never seen it, actually. Is it's it called Quinn the Eskimo? There's a movie with Denzel Washington where he is a policeman, and his name is Quinn. And in the scene in that they play Quinn the Eskimo, which is the Bob Dylan song. I don't remember. I don't know. The Mighty Quinn. That's the name the of the movie. Quinn. The Mighty Quinn. The Mighty Quinn. Yep. I have not. I have not seen it. I've only seen that scene, the Bob Dylan scene. Okay. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, that was uh, yeah, really kind highly of... highly risky on Miguel's part to to put in the subpoena and to arrange everything to work out so well. I, I feel like I feel like that was really good. That was a really good plan. Yeah. Worked out great. And now they're just gonna. I mean, the only downside of it, the same with Freebo, is all this police time is tied up in people that are already dead. It's true. Because now they're going to be looking for the Aryan guy, too. I'm sure. Yeah. And that, that's all going to be wasted because they're what never going to find him. The Aryan well, that guy? might be pol police instead of, you know, homicide. As, you know what I mean? Like or just... FBI. Yeah, it's still taking away resources to... But not my characters. That could be solved. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So Rita, who lost her job at the hotel, mm -hmm. she's looking to get in real estate with, with Miguel's wife. Sil. Sil. Yeah, Sylvia. Um, so, yeah, I... We got that. Yep. We have the family friend of Dexter. It's nice it, that they're all happy together, too. Like, Rita has a friend. We've never really seen her with a friend before. Not too much, no. And Dexter has a friend, so. Yeah, and we also nice. have, like, Although, we never see the kids anymore. I wonder what, what's up with them. Like, who's watching them? And there's laws for fucking kids and shows and how often they can be in it. And... Well, sure. Well, I mean, that's based on a certain amount of hours. They can work around it. Yeah. I just figure there's... There just hasn't been a single scene for... Well... Something we saw in the last I, episode. Not last episode, the episode before that, I guess. Okay. It was it was the one with actually the most of the kids in it for a while is where Dexter was fake proposing and, and then at the end he really proposed. Just stuff. wonder who's watching. Is it the grandma? Or is no. It She's out of the state now. Grandma moved out of the state. It's probably just a babysitter. Yeah. Um, we have, I can't remember her name, but uh, the lady who uh, was a friend of Dexter's family, she's dying of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And it's weird to have Dexter, you know, he seems to be, he seems to really care for her. You know yeah. what I mean? Like when he told uh, LaGuerta, mm -hmm. when he told LaGuerta she's a good friend of the family, like, yeah. there was no internal monologue. There was no like, you know, like I think he meant that. Yeah. Even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't feel it. Camilla is her name. Camilla. Yeah, even if he doesn't feel it, he, he meant yeah. what he said. You know what I mean? And then you. Yeah, you and know. he's. Like, doing all this effort to make her last days as happy ones. Like, oh, he also had to deal with his dad withering away slowly in the hospital. It's a terrible thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thought so. cancer. Yeah. Whether it's portrayed fictionally or really. I kind of wonder if he's going to step out of the box a little bit and end her suffering a little sooner. I don't know. I don't know. It would be... Against the code. It would be against the code, but it would also be a mercy. Yeah, uh, well, we've seen him kind of uh, bend the code a couple of times with that one fucking pedophile fuck. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we also have fucking Yuki. Yeah. I really cannot like, remember what happens with, with the Quinn stuff. So Yuki's been, according to Quinn, Yuki, and it's she's going after him for personal reasons. Mm-hmm. Or she could have just been going after him for internal affair reasons yes. for a long time. And Which, now he's gonna dispose of her. Based on his reaction. Via skinning. His immediate and violent reaction to Deborah telling him about the investigation. I would say it's violent. I mean, but it, was, I, it was a visceral emotional reaction. He stopped the elevator, but then he I mean, found out it was Visceral is violent. Uh, if you say violent, though, and there's a fucking... There's I a, mean, and, and there's like... There was no physical violence. Yeah. But... Abrupt. The... The intensity in if which... If you do that to a jury, they're gonna think that, you know, you're bending the narrative, brother. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I would say disregard the word violence. Objection. Okay. Um, 
But I'll tell the way you, he when, smacked when he, that button when was he found when he found out it was Yuki, he just smiled and just pushed the button again. Like this is like I, I'm not worried about it. This is a personal thing. I'll yeah. take care of it. Like you know. Or, I think he, I think you. It was abrupt because he was like, "You know about this? You didn't tell me. Like what the hell?" Yeah, you know, I think I'd be the same way. I don't know. I honestly don't know either, but I think you're wrong. And I, it's I don't. Well, you can't tell me that I'm wrong when you've seen it. Jay. I don't remember. <laughs> I, would, I would say I don't remember. I don't care. You you thought you didn't remember other things, and you turned out you were remembering them. I don't remember this. <laughs> I remember the outcome though. I still think he's the Skinner. Well, that. But we'll see. Yeah. I like I love the line uh, from Dexter. No matter how close or not from Dexter, from Dexter's dad. No matter how close people are, an infinite distance separates them. Yeah. That was a great line. Well, which yeah. is funny. Just like take the distance between us. And it, you can quantify it, but you yeah. can divide it by you can divide it by point one, and you mm -hmm. keep doing it and doing it. So there's an infinite distance. You know, I think it's fucking bullshit, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, you can keep dividing it. And there's an infinite amount of distance between us. That's stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. What do you think of like the way Harry kept showing up, like being really discouraging and saying, "Yeah, you're gonna get you, you might you might get off in a few years." And it's like his conscious. And he was wrong, seemingly. You know, I mean, he was wrong about uh, what Miguel was trying to do at that moment. Yeah, it's interesting. Like he's casting Harry as the villain. After he found out that Harry lied to him last season, mm -hmm. and it's like his his doubts he casts as Harry because of the doubts he has about Harry and about the code and everything. Mm -hmm. So it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's a really yeah. cool way of bringing more Harry in because I love that. I love him. Yeah, I love Harry too. Yeah. He's cool. I hope after Ramon gets put in jail, we get something similar with Ramon. Not Ramon. Miguel. <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that would be cool. That's kind of all my notes. Oh, but uh, the big thing with uh, whatever her name is, dying, dying. Uh, Camilla. 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 Just yeah. I mean, obviously, this isn't the show. This is just a life conversation. But just you know, when you go out like that, die slowly, and people take care of you. You're shitting everywhere, losing your dignity. That's just a terrible way to go. Sucks. Fucking sucks. I felt so bad for her. I think even Dexter kind of felt bad in that moment as well, because he's the one. She didn't even finish her sentence. He finished it for her. Yep. You know, so like he, I think he had the same sentiment. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if she has anything else to tell him about... Uh, about Harry? About Harry. Like, if there's uh, one last piece of truth. Because we suspected last season that LaGuardia's boss killed Harry. I wonder if there's anything to that. Oh, yeah, back. yeah, the one hard ass. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Matthews? Matthews. Yeah, Matthews. I, yeah, I don't know. There was also talk that maybe he killed himself, but the... Circumstances of his death were suspicious, which yeah. made us believe that maybe it was someone higher up that wanted something kept secret. But I mean, it, it still, still could, could be. be suicide. You know, after he found out about Dexter. I mean, Dexter that, that's what Dexter believes. But seeing it, maybe right. there'll be another revelation. Could be. Or well, Camilla's deathbed. She maybe. might be one of the only few people who would know about it. Yep. When you get really into Masuka too much, just in this episode, uh, which is upsetting to me. But yeah, we had a lot of stuff going on. No donuts today? Angel has a date. Nope, not today. Angel does have a date, yeah. Yep. Not a date. You're Which meeting is a, for food. A little but... shady, but I get why she did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he. It's, it's very know, obvious. If she's probably, like, she's, you know, not 25, you know what I mean? And she's single, she doesn't want to date. You know, she's probably been burned before. Oh. And then Batista is, you know, her first experience with him is she, he was hiring a prostitute. Well, she's probably got a very good reason to distrust him, and men in general, probably. Yeah. You know, with well, her attitude, so I get it completely. And what she sees, like in the prostitution ring and that's everything. All, yeah, and you're around that all the time. Yeah, it's that's like all. A, that's how you see people. Like, I, like a lot of my friends who are cops and stuff like that. They just since high school, like just the way they see people. Like she, everyone's a liar. Everyone's this. You know, and just mm -hmm. everyone cheats on this person. Everyone is, everyone, everyone has got skeletons in the closet. Hope it works out for him. Angel needs. He needs something positive in his life. He does. He Although needs he a win. is very positive in his life. But yes, he does need a win. He needs a win. He does. You're right. But uh, yeah, he's got this date, so hopefully it goes to something. We'll see. If you want to see right now, you can by going to patreon.com slash blindwave. It's just a great way to support us. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, you check out the next episode there uh, for early access for a lot of the stuff that we do and full length for pretty much everything that we do. Also go to blindwave.net. Check out our store and you can find information about all kinds of stuff there.